Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about how to solve word problems involving logs. So let's read example number one. Miss Sanfini bought a 2015 Honda CRV for $30,000. It is known that the car has a depreciation or the decline in cash value rate of 20%. The value of the car at any time can be determined by the formula V equals C 1 minus R to the T power where V is the value of the car after T years C is the original cost, and R is the rate of depreciation. So after three years, how much is the car worth to the nearest cent? So these problems we have already done, but what you would do is you would plug in to this formula. So A is the ending amount. That's what we want to find out. P is the initial value of the car. So the initial value is 30000 And since I'm depreciating, or I'm losing value, I'm going to use minus, so 1 minus. My rate is 20%, but to take 20%, we have to insert it as a decimal, so two places to the left, so 0 0.20, so 1 minus 0 0.20 to the t power, or the amount of years, which is 3. Now, I used this formula, but they gave you this formula. It's just different letters. Instead of V, they have A, or P, they have C, or so on and so on. It's, it's the same exact thing. So please pause the video if you do not have your calculator, and please type this in once you have it, and hit resume for the answer, making sure we're rounding to the nearest cent. Okay, your answer should be approximately $15,360 and zero cents, it's even. So it's approximately $15,360. Okay, so after three years, the car has lost about half of its value. That's why it's always good to buy a used car. Okay, now let's talk about part B. How old would the car be to the nearest tenth of a year if the car has a value of 15000 so we know it's going to be a close to approximately three years old, but let's just see how far. So the formula that they have is V equals C 1 minus R to the T. So we want to know how old the car is to the nearest tenth of a year. So the variable that we're trying to find here is T. So if the car is now worth 15000 that goes into the ending amount. The beginning amount of the value of the car is 30000 so for the V or the A, we put in 15, that's where it's going to go down to, and the initial is 30,000, 1 minus 0 0.20, the rate is still the same, but now I want to find T. So what we can do first is simplify 1 minus 0.2. So 15,000 equals 30,000, 1 minus 0 0.20 is 0 0.80 to the T. Now, the only way that we can solve this equation is if we get isolate the base. So we're going to have to divide the 30,000. Divide 30,000. Now, we're going to type into our calculator 15,000 divided by 30,000, and you'll get a half equals 0 0.80 to the t power. So now if you remember from yesterday's video, in order to solve for an exponent, when I cannot make a common base, we have to log both sides and drop it like a tot. So I'm going to continue this over here. So we're going to log the 0.5, and we're going to log the 0 0.80 to the t. And then we're going to take this power, and we're going to drop it like a tot. So we have log of 0.5 equals t times log of 0 0.80. Now in order to get t by itself, we're going to have to divide both sides by log of 0 0.80. So you're going to type that into the calculator. Log of 0.5 divided by log of 0 0.80 and you get approximately 3.1 Zero six. So to the nearest tenth, approximately 3.1 years it will take for the car to reach $15,000, pretty much close to this one. So what I'd like you to do for homework is to do part C. I will not give you credit for the homework unless this one is done. 
All right, so model it the same exact way as part B. And now I'm going to move on to the next page. Okay, so now I'd like to do the same type of problems, but except we're going to use a different formula when I've changed the compounding to be n times per year. So let's look at the example first. Nick invests $1,000 at Chase Bank, offering a 2% interest rate. How much money will Nick have as an account after three years if he makes no additional withdrawals or deposits? So we want to find out how much money A, how much will he end with in his account if his P, principal or initial amount that he invested, was $1,000 at a rate of 2%. But remember, 2% as a decimal, move the decimal two places to the left, and it's 0 0.02. The N is the amount of times that it's compounding, and it looks as though we are compounding this thing once a year. It doesn't specify any other time. N is 1, and the T power here is 3, because I've gone 3 years. So take a minute, plug this into the calculator just the way you see it, and then hit resume for your answer. Okay, you should have gotten $1,061.21. So $1,061.21. Okay, now let's look at part B. Approximately how many years... Will it take Nick to make $1,500 if his money is compounded quarterly? So remember, compounded quarterly means that N will be 4. And approximately how many years, the variable that we are trying to solve for, is T. Now, how long will it take him to make $1,500? This $1,500 is my A value, the amount that I want to end to, given that he starts with 1000 So my A is 1500 my P is 1,000. My rate is still 2%, so 0.02. My N this time is 4, so 4 times T. We want to figure out how long T will it take for this 1,000 to grow to 1,500. Okay? So what we should probably do is start with the parentheses. So what I'd like everyone to do is start here, put that into the calculator just the way you see it, and hit resume when you're finished to see what this equals. Okay, so you should have gotten 1500, 1000, 1.005 to the 4t power. So what we need to do is isolate the base that's attached to this exponent, and the way we're going to do that is by dividing by 1000. Okay, so take in the calculator 1500 divided by 1000 and you should get 1.5 equals 1.005 to the 4t power. Now just like we did on the other page when we want to solve for the exponent we're going to log both sides and drop it like it's hot. So I'm going to finish that over here. We're going to log the 1.5 and we're going to log the 1.005 to the 4t power. Then we're going to take the power and drop it like it's hot. So we have a log of 1.5 equals 4t times log of 1.005. Now, we want to solve for the t. The first thing you want to do is actually divide out this log of 1.005. So you get 4t equals this divided by this. So take a minute and put that into the calculator just the way you see it. And then hit enter once you've done so. All right, you should have gotten approximately 81.2955 dot, 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 dot. And now the last step is to divide by 4. So leaving that in your calculator, hit divide by 4. So t is equal to 20.3. So approximately, I know it doesn't say head around, we could say approximately 20 years it will take for his money 
to reach $1,500. All right, so part C, I'd like you to follow the same way we did part B and solve this for homework. Remember that compounding monthly means that N is 12. For his money to double, if we started with 1,000, to double, he should be making 2,000. That should be times 2. All right, so those are my hints, and see if you can finish that for homework. All right, now I'm going to move to the last example. Okay, so now we have compounding continuously. This is our PERT formula. So it says Susie invests $2,000 in an account that is compounded continuously with an annual interest rate of 1.5% according to this formula, where A is the amount accrued or the ending amount, P is the principal or the initial amount, R is the rate of interest, and T is the time in years. So part A says how much money will Susie have in her account after three years? So A is the ending amount, P is my initial. So Susie started with $2,000. E, now my rate is 1.5%. So if we want to change that to a decimal, it's 0 0.015. So E to the 0 0.015 times 3 is my exponent, right? T is my time, 3 years. So take a minute, type this into the calculator just the way you see it, and hit resume when you're finished. Okay, you should be getting A equals $2,092 and .055. It doesn't say exactly what to round to, so we'll say $2,092. Okay, now what we're going to do is figure out how long it would take for Susie's money to double. So if she's starting with $2,000, doubling would make her have $4,000. So if we write the formula, A equals... P e to the RT, your ending amount should be her doubled value. So we should put 4,000 here. P is the principal, or what we are starting with, which is 2,000. E is just E. My rate is still 0 0.015, and I want to find time T. So same kind of concept as the other problems. We want to isolate the base that's attached to the exponent. So we're going to divide the 2,000. So 4,000 divided by 2,000 is 2, e to the 0 0.015t. But now that our base is e, instead of logging both sides, we're going to ln both sides. So ln of 2 equals ln of e to the 0 0.015t. Now we're going to do the same thing also as before, take the power, drop it like it's hot, finish this up here. So we have ln of 2 equals 0 0.015t times ln of e. But we should be remembering that ln of e is equal to 1. So the only thing left is to divide by 0 0.015. So in the calculator, please type in ln of 2 divided by 0 0.015 and you should be getting approximately 46.209 so approximately how many years it's going to take her 46 years to double her money with such a low interest rate okay so take a minute and please do part C for homework you're not going to get credit for this assignment until I see that you've tried all three parts, okay? Please come in with questions tomorrow. Have a great day.